Good morning. Good morning, good morning. We are on a wonky road right now. What's a wonky road? Is this, <laughs> what does that mean? Is, it, is that the dictionary? That's a wonky road. Oh, oh, oh. Is wonky in the dictionary? If, if you can see it. It should be because this is what it would look like when you would see it. Anyway. This is the picture that would be under wonky? This would be the picture. <laughs> We're going to anyway. go see a toy hauler today. Yeah. With so, a robot. You gotta focus here. Deb the robot. Got to focus on what we're doing today. You gotta go see Deb the robot. Deb the robot. And we're going to take you with us. So come on along. Kelly got to stand next to Deb. So this is Deb. Except it's, Deb. Not, it's not working. But it's not working. <laughs> Deb is Deb's taking the break. Deb's taking a break. They're trying to fix it on the on the other end, but I want to see it work. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Sheldon on the Big Bang Theory, that's you know. Right. That's right. But that's the robot that's supposed to work, but it doesn't. So let's go in. So let's see. Go ahead. Let's see what we got here. All right, so this is the Lux toy hauler we came to look at. It's got a side deck on it, as well as the back deck when you empty the garage and leave it down. Leave it down. So the side deck looks like they've got a TV and speakers and a sliding glass door. I'm not gonna close it. There's steps that come down too. Yeah, there's steps inside there's that come down. So let's go take a look inside. Each front slate is the interior color. And the furniture is called Java. Okay. And it's the 48 FB with the side patio, side mm -hmm. deck. Yes. And the outside exterior color is a Tsunami toy hauler. Okay. I think it's an L couch. Is it an L? I think that's what they call it. Okay. I talked to Deb about that. She says it's not a problem deleting that and replacing it if we wanted to replace it with a couple of recliners. And then lots of, well, a little bit of storage up there above. Entertainment center, nice big TV. I'm gonna open up one of those top cupboards there and let's see what kind of storage we got back behind that. Oh, not real deep, but. No, but it's wide. Yeah, wide, and, okay. They're all the same. All right. And then I assume that one down below doesn't open next to the fireplace there? No. Okay. 40 inch fireplace, sound bar. Looks like a what, a 50 inch TV or so? It says 40 inch. Oh no, that's 40 inch, I'm yeah. sorry. And then it's got the dinette on the other side, storage up above. Yep. Storage in the seats. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's quite a bit of storage actually. Yeah, it is. Big drawers. Kind of interesting, uh, if you guys are taking a look, this is kind of neat. It's it's a step up, so there's no carpet. That's nice. Which is actually kind of nice. I like that. I like that. It's got a lip, but I mean it is. And then that one's got carpet around the J couch or L couch or whatever we're calling that today. <laughs> And then you've got some cupboards here above the couch and a uh, standard depth. And they go all the way through. So let's pass through yeah, storage. Great fridge. And then a huge refrigerator, freezer. 
Yeah, standard residential size it looks yeah. like. Ice cream, room for ice cream, room for milk and... Mm, room for your ice cream. Yeah. Poor guy hasn't had ice cream in two years, so... Yeah. And then uh, cover it up above, kind of deep and... But okay. Good storage. Yeah. And then the kitchen, you've got a lift up counter yeah. extension there. Okay. Gives you extra space. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah. All right. And then there's under the sink. Under the sink. Which I would have to put a dishwasher here. Yeah, I don't know that your dishwasher could go there though, because you got to get to your plumbing, so it would probably have to go on the other side. Oh, but I would think. I don't know. We can ask Deb. You can get to your plumbing right here. Can you? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's huh? a drain right here. Uh, yeah, but see, the sink's yeah, in the way. Sink's in the way on that side, so probably, oh. I don't know. We'll have to ask Deb and see. Yeah, that's a good question. And then your cupboards up above there, are they deep enough for groceries and stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Canned goods? Yeah, they're pretty good size. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, and then up above, by the way, guys, up above the kitchen, there is the loft. Yeah. And that is like a, I don't know, it's probably a double. Oh, at least. Mattress up there? Yeah, might it's huge. Be a queen? It might be a queen. It's huge up but there. But we were thinking, we were thinking storage in the loft. Toilet paper, paper towels, yeah. pop. Pantry stuff. Yeah. We could get up there in the loft and you get access to the loft. It's open on the kitchen side, but you get access from the garage side and we'll, we'll show you here in a sec. So you got a fantastic fan above the cooking area. Smart and that does not open up above the microwave there so that's not storage there correct okay yeah and then um and there's you've got cupboards here which go back around behind goes all the way back yeah. to the wall okay under there and then and then a little bit of drawer space not a whole lot of drawer space no, no if i would were to order i would just i would not get the oven i would use drawers oh yeah ask okay. for drawers instead so that would give you at least three big drawers and then the cooktop yeah so you'd have a cooktop some drawer space but we were talking earlier if you take the cover off of the sink um, you kind of lose your counter space so you know we're just trying to figure out where we put our Berkey and our coffee maker yeah, and such. we're kind of spoiled the way we are now but everything's a compromise right yeah that's true so we'll have to discuss that. I'm not sure what we're going to do there because there's not a whole, I mean, there's, there's counter space. There, don't get me wrong. There's, right. there's plenty of counter space to prep your, your meals and stuff. But as far as coffee maker and Berkey and that sort of thing, there isn't a whole lot of extra counter space. Yeah, so. we have a Keurig that's pretty good size. Yeah. All right. So that counter extension comes down how? There's two things you grab onto and squeeze. Okay and then you hold it because you don't want it to okay. slam down. So they've got outlets on the back side of the kitchen here which uh, I guess is for countertop utensils. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. Toaster or something maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, that's different. Okay. All right. So not a whole big, not it's not a huge living space but it is a toy hauler. So I don't know. I like the setup. It's just compact. Yeah. And then the door going out to the garage is actually glass, which we actually prefer. Yeah, this is this it is it just enlarge makes it larger. Makes it seem bigger. Yeah. That's a big door. It is a big door and it's heavy door. Uh-huh. But it opens all the way. Yep. And it stays there, so yep. you can just so you go out into the garage and it's got the Happy Jack bunk. Uh, so the, the couch is down and then the up above, the that's another bunk that comes down. And this has actually got quite a bit of storage out here. We were talking about this too. Oh, yeah. Not real deep on the side here. So this is the outside wall that goes to the uh, outside deck. Right. The patio, I should say. Not real deep, but kind of high. And I could see putting paper towels and that sort of thing in there yeah uh, stacking the same one next to it and then that one is for the loft so this is this is the loft area and uh, as you can see so there's 
looking out over the kitchen but it's a big area and we could store so there's another vent here in the loft but we could store quite a bit here in the in the loft if we were to take out this mattress and just use this for storage so that's uh, that's a lot of room and then you've got cabinets along the, the ceiling here on this side they go all the way through those are kind of those are deep These are deeper. yeah those are nice those are actually pretty nice TV in the garage and then uh, they've Back actually got the H-Track tie downs on the mm -hmm. floor which is actually kind of nice and then this one is set up with a half bath uh, small half bath in the toy hauler not a whole lot of room got a medicine cabinet got a co uh, cupboard obviously no drawers toilet uh, I don't know that you need any drawers in a half bath and so we measured this and it is 11 just shy of 12 feet to the starting, the bathroom. starting the bathroom wall there um, not enough for our Can-Am so if we were to do this we would have to delete the half bath I like the I like the side patio the side patio is kind of cool yeah um, got a regular sliding glass door walk out on the patio and kind of enjoy the enjoy the view coffee. have a cup of coffee in the morning watch the news yeah that's kind of cool yeah. got a TV mount out here on the patio um, hmm. Awning. I don't know. I could be convinced to put a patio on ours. I know. See, so it has an awning. So yeah. You put the awning out and. Yeah, this would be this would be pretty nice. And get a little dog, you know, and you put the dog out. <laughs> little <here>. yipper. <laughs> All right. So back in the garage, and let's go up and see what we got up up front here. Uh, flooring is is nice. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's a nice color. Yeah, it's kind of neutral. The backsplash, you can see the backsplash is, is kind of neutral. It's the glass. I, I, what do they call that? Glass? Mm -hmm. Glass backsplash. Uh, balances are uh, cloth, but tastefully done. The walls are standard, uh, standard RV walls. The ceiling, I am really, really surprised the ceiling is not soft. Oh, it's it's a hard ceiling, which um, in the other the other luxes that we've looked at, it's a soft ceiling like we've got in our current coach. So I don't know. We'll have to ask Deb about that. Okay, so we come upstairs to the bathroom and open up the bathroom door. Well, that's kind of that's different. It's kind of yeah. That's different. <laughs> okay. Did you want to look at it? So it's a regular door open to the bathroom. I do like the fixtures on the sink, though. Mm -hmm. They come out of the wall, which gives you a lot more counter space, a lot more room. I like the way they did that. Uh, this particular model has a tub. We don't obviously need a tub because we don't have kids or dogs. So we'll have to talk to Deb about that. But this one has a tub uh, with a huge skylight huge skylight inside the tub and then you've got uh, I guess this is a small linen closet above the toilet it's got a towel rack which I've not uh, this first towel rack I've ever seen in an RV oh yeah and then you've got a toilet and a couple of cupboards down below the sink the lighting in here is really nice yeah Another thing that we noticed about this is there are light switches everywhere and they're kind of rockers and then it's got a command center all of their coaches seem to have this lighting command center so uh, fresh one fresh two black one black two gray one gray two and then lights HVAC so this is apparently your your central command center and I'm not going to even try to explain it because I know nothing about it so the bedroom, is that a barn door or a pocket door? 
This is a barn door. Okay, so the bedroom door is a barn door. Oh, and it's got your, it's got your glass, which is actually really nice. I like that. Isn't that nice? It is nice. I like it too. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a barn door into the bedroom with the frosted glass. So cabinets, full length uh, above the, the dresser, washer dryer in the bedroom. So if you took that out, you would have more closet space, I guess. Right. And then you've got a pull-out TV. Probably need some adjustment. I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Just push it back. Anyway, pull it comes out TV. Out yep, slide out right TV. There. Um, you've got small cubbies above the bed itself. A window on each side of the bed, which is a must for us. We really need a cross breeze. Oh, these closets are tight tight so your closet it's good size wardrobe closet. yeah it is good sized and then uh, you've got drawers below the closet which are actually pretty good sized but you can't stand in front of it <laughs> oh yeah because it comes to the bed it comes to the so to it's kind of tight through here okay and then you got some over there yep i mean so they're good sized drawers they are and then each each side has a cubby for okay. whatever, I don't know what you'd put in there, but maybe your phone or something. Duck and then all of these drawers. So did you see these drawers? And then okay, so these are a little shorter. Yeah, socks, underwears. Yep. Lots of underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So as we walk back down, got two steps up to the bedroom and bath. Walk back down, and you've got your living area again. So, uh, I don't know, what do you think? It's a compromise. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's yeah. a compromise for us. It's, it's not nearly what we've got. We're gonna show you the front living, Lux front living room, and then the Lux uh, front bath. They're beautiful. I told him, let's get a piece of property and plant <laughs> it on there. I would live in there for the yeah. rest of my life. It's gorgeous, you yeah. gotta, watch the video coming but up this is this is a big garage and yes you know it just it, it's a it's a compromise this is uh i think they i think this was a 16 foot nine garage is that right so it is 11 feet seven ish to the half bath so our Can-Am would not fit with a half bath. And to the front wall, it is right at 16 feet. So it's a 16 foot garage without the half bath. And the width with the side, because I'm sure this is extra because of the side patio, the side. So the width with the side patio is going to be seven foot four, seven foot five. And if you did not, if you took the side patio out, then you're going to be at uh, just shy of eight feet. So with your patio, your side patio, you're losing about six inches of wall space on the front end here. So 16 feet, which would fit the Can-Am without the half bath. Actually, that would be kind of nice. Okay, so what'd you think? I liked it. Yep. Yeah, yeah it, was it was really nice. pretty. It was well built. It was. It was compact, mm -hmm. a lot more compact than I may like. I don't know. I don't know that I could do it full time. I know. You're he's six five and he's all legs. Yeah. And you sat down on the couch and you're almost hitting the fireplace. So it was that was a little tough. It is. A little tight. Yeah. But it is under consideration. So that is floor yeah. plan number one and uh, that is the Lux forty eight FB.
Uh, I like the size of the garage. Mm, the side patio nice. was really oh, cool. Side patio was so cool. Uh, the cupboards were nice. Uh -huh. uh, the finish was nice. So it, it had a lot of pluses. We'd have to make some modifications to make it work for us. We'd have yes. to put in a dishwasher. We'd have to put in a coffee bar. Um, a couple other things. So mm -hmm. I don't know. That's floor plan number one. It's on our list and we've got some more to look at. So we we're going to go up and talk to Alicia. Uh, at Rolling Retreats regarding the new DRV model that's out. I think she's also got a JX450 or 455. I don't remember which one. She's got one of them on her on her lot that we can look at and kind of get an idea. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, and then she's got the rear kitchen, which she says is the same as the MX450 without the garage. So we'll go look at that. Um, so we've got a couple of DRVs we're going to look at. Oh, by the way, while we were here in the warehouse in Texas, they had a couple other models in there. Uh, they had the 39 FB mm -hmm. and then the 44 front living room, which Kelly absolutely <laughs> fell in love with. <laughs> Should never have went in. Yeah. No, that was pretty nice. I coach. was even talking about selling the Can-Am and just taking yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was breathtakingly beautiful. It is. It's, oh, my gosh. It was a nice coach. Uh, anyway, we've got some video that we shot of both of those. So if you'd like to see a video tour of either or both of those, uh, leave a comment down below. We'll be happy to put them up. Yes. Uh, just take a little bit of editing and, and I should be able to put them up. So let us know what you'd like to see. In the meantime, we are going to move north out of Texas and into Oklahoma. We're going to go see Alicia and Slade at Rolling Retreats yes. and talk to them. And then we're going to move further north from there. So uh, we're going to wrap this one up. So from Texas. It all starts with an idea. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.